Hey, welcome back to Acoustic Interlude. I'm John McDonnell, and we are broadcasting from the 30A Songwriters Festival. And we have run into uh, a new friend, somebody who's been around for a while. He is uh, a legend in the songwriting community. Here's Jonathan Edwards. Hello, John. How you doing? I am doing great, man. What you got for us? Well, this is a new one I just wrote. You can tell by the lyrics still written on the paper piece of paper on the floor. <laughs> it's called Sandy Girl. Sandy girl, you stop my world, catch it in the breeze. I catch your eye, I tell no lie I'm taking you away I'm taking you away Yeah, can I start over? Sure <laughs> Jeez um, This is a, a new one for me This is one I just wrote You can tell by the lyrics Still written on a piece of paper on the floor in front of me It's called Sandy Girl It goes like this Stop my world 15 times a day I catch your eye, I tell no lie I'm taking you away I'm taking you away yeah. Moonlight up in Blue Hill, Maine All those years ago I'm coming to town, I'm looking around You're sitting in the second row You're sitting in the second row Yeah, Sandy girl, Sandy girl I'm sending you a letter And when you're good, you're crazy good when you bad, you better Sandy girl, you rock my world Dancing in the breeze Heart on the sky in your blue eyes Say thank you and then please Thank you and then please for the way you love me and every day you do Bring me coffee to my bed Cream and sugar too Cream and sugar too Yeah Sandy girl, Sandy girl I'm sending you a letter When you're good, you're crazy good When you bad, you better Yeah, nice one. Jonathan Edwards on Acoustic Interlude. Thanks for coming out, man. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. My pleasure. And uh, if that's a brand new song, I, I highly approve. It came out really well. Thanks. How old is it? It's going to be a brand new. Something you wrote like today? or uh, I worked on it today all day. Did you really? To get to this point, yes. Wow. And I played cool. it way too fast, but yeah, it's, it's, it is. it's late in the afternoon. You know, we need a little pick-me-up, you know. Right, exactly. How much do you write? Uh, is it a thing with you? Because I know a lot of people that just kind of have to wait for you know everything to click. 
and they don't even think about it and they just write it down. It comes all at once and other people really work at it, you know, like every day. How do you work? Um, I just kind of pay attention to the muse wherever she, in my case, happens yeah. to be and I try and pay attention to that mm -hmm. and I'm doing a, sing uh, a songwriting uh, workshop tomorrow. Morning. Oh, really? Where is it? Uh, Somewhere. We'll look it up. Yeah, let me see. <laughs> it's in... Uh, the Boathouse at 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Very cool. It's like open to the public. Anybody can show up. And as far as I know, yeah. Wow, we're that's not, really cool. We're not keeping anybody out. Yeah. Do you like doing that kind of thing? You know, teaching younger people or even uh, older people, I guess, just anybody with an interest. Yeah, I, I, I love it. It's, it. It really makes me feel good that, that I have something, you know, some knowledge to impart to, to yeah. whoever needs it. So that's pretty cool. Well, would this be, you know, like a technical nuts and bolts type of thing or... How, how do you work? Say, say, like, I come up to you and say, I want to be a songwriter. How do I start? Um, yeah, I, I give some techniques. You know, I, I tell people that to to write things down, you know, and it's like I, I went to art school for four years, and, and, mm -hmm. and the professors kept drumming into our heads, just draw, just simply draw. It takes a piece of, of paper and a pencil, <laughs> and just keep drawing and, and developing your eye and developing your, your mind and, and your feelings and, you know. And how you express your feelings, and the same thing is absolutely true for songwriting. I mean, you, you have to tap that vein that 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 goes to uh, illuminating your ideas, and it, and it happens to be through music. Sure, yeah, yeah, it kind of get to your soul, I guess. You know, the the inner inner you. Yeah, because you know, some people. I'm always amazed. I interview somebody sometimes that. Uh, they've been staff writers and they say, oh yeah, you know, I go to work, you know, it's like five days a week, you know, nine to five and it's just a job. And I could never understand that. It's, you know, how do you do that? It, it almost seems like prostitution, you know, <laughs> if, if it doesn't really come from them, they look at it as a job, you know? Well, you can't tell Carol King, and Jeff Goffin that. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, she wrote some amazing songs in the nine to five. Well, that's true. Yeah you know format and uh, incredible songs will you yeah. still love me tomorrow i mean you, oh you know, man yeah just you, you name it all the stuff she wrote in that in the brill building whatever it was it was great yeah yeah they truly were great songs so so discipline is is a factor too i mean forcing well, that, yourself that can be too yeah and i've heard um people who write fiction you know do the same thing totally it's some of them it's a job it's nine to five others it's just whenever the muse hits right right uh, it's a combination of all of the above for me. I'm just, I'm just feel, I feel grateful and lucky to, to be touched by the muse whenever, you know, it when, whenever she hits. Yeah. Yeah. What are you up to um, coming up in the spring? Got anything fun planned? Um, we're launching a, a pledge drive uh, real soon. I don't have all the information about that yet, but we're, we're going to try and uh, do some crowdfunding and, and help, help with the uh, expenses involved with, my new album, so oh, cool. I'm pretty excited about both the album and and the uh, pledge campaign. It's um, being produced by Daryl Scott. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it's it's great. You know, I was just talking to Jerry yesterday about uh -huh. about being on it, and he's psyched to be on it, and we may have some more, you know, big names as well. Uh, how far along in the process are you guys? We did all the. We did most of the recording. We we're just doing a couple of overdubs that weren't that didn't happen on that particular day. I mean, we did we did the whole album in three days, and that's the way I will continue to work in the future. <laughs> <laughs> you liked it, and it yeah. worked out really well. Yeah, it was really great. Tell you what, man, you got a couple more tunes you can you can do for us, and we'll sure. come back and chat a little bit more. Sure. We did a song written by somebody else. <laughs> Adrian Young put this one together, and it's the title song of my most recent CD up until now. Well, baby, were you just about to kiss me? Or were you just about to leave? Come and sit down here beside me and Baby, take a moment just to breathe I could say that I was sorry Oh Lord, 
I, I could tell you I was wrong I just can't say forever now But hereafter from now on I'll love you in the winter when the roots grow deep Love you in the spring when the leaves turn green Love you in the summer when the trees grow tall Love you in the fall of the year When the leaves turn brown When they cover the ground down Where the roots grow deep My love will keep Why do we worry about our future sometimes If we're not worried about our past So don't you worry about that question, baby That you've been just about to ask Cause I love you in the winter when the roots grow deep Love you in the spring when the leaves turn green Love you in the summer when the trees grow tall I love you in the fall of the year When the leaves turn brown When they cover the ground down Where the roots grow deep My love, I love you in the winter When the roots grow deep Love you in the spring when the leaves turn green Love you in the summer when the trees grow tall I love you in the fall of the year When the leaves turn brown When they cover the ground down where the roots grow deep, my love will keep. Second song. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me. It's been a long day. That's okay. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, that that was great. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Anything you'd like to share with our audience? Um, like, like what? No, I don't know. Life lessons, you know, from, from Jonathan Edwards. Oh, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not an authority on on much. Um, <laughs> I could just do another song. Maybe okay, that's what, that's let's what, do it. That's who I am is what I do. Yeah, let me get another harp here. And yeah, there it is. I've had to write really big letters on them these days. Tell what key it's in, but... <laughs> This old guitar climbed many mountains. This old guitar crossed many seas. And every night as I lay sleeping, this old guitar dreams next to me. We started on this road together, rolling down that long highway. We've seen sunny days and inclement weather. One more time, let me hear you say, I'm just an old wooden box with some wires upon my top. But you can hear every note of the blues in what I sing. 
Just hold me when you're down, Lord, and wrap your arms around. Play that chord again. Let it rain. This old guitar has danced in heaven. This old guitar has run down through hell. But it keeps in tune most nights. It keeps a secret. It tells a story, Lord, and it tells it well. I'm just an old wooden box with some wires upon my top. But you can hear every note of the blues in what I sing. Just hold me when you're down. Go on and wrap your arms around. We'll play that chord again now. Let it rain. This old guitar been right here to see me through And you never know these days about gods and lovers But I know it all when I'm holding you This old guitar just keeps on ringing through This old guitar looks like it's me and you Looks like it's me and you again. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it really takes it out of you sometimes. Oh well, it's that's because you put so much into it. You know, it's it's what you, what you got to do. That's what what I feel like you got to do. You got to leave it all on the stage wherever you go, and and uh, or else why do it, right? Seems to me. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Jonathan Edwards, an acoustic interlude from the 30A. Enjoy the festival, man. Thanks, John. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Okay, we're done. Thank you very much.